Before we look at your new jig, I'm just going to um, look at the E flat major arpeggio. So we're starting with twos on E flats, both thumbs go to G's, then you've got opposite fours and twos on the other two black keys, thumb on G, opposite twos and fours, thumbs together, fours and twos, thumbs together and twos to finish. All right, so it's quite a, a nice one to fit under the hand. Left hand in B flat major, of course, is very different. It's using three, two, one, whereas the right hand's using the two, one, two fingering. So they don't match at all. There's no fingers that come together that are the same anywhere. So you have to be very watchful for that one. That is quite hard. So it's a standalone fingering, that one. Okay. But the E flat, you start with the same fingers. You both go to the thumbs and then it's just fours and twos. So it just feels as if it fits more comfortably. Okay. All right, now, so looking at your new jig. Okay, so we've got six, eight time. So I've written in the music some timing. I hope that comes out in your printing. If not, just go over it again. So we're going to count in at the beginning because it starts on the last quarter of a bar. And I'm just going to count in the last three counts. So I'm going to count four, five, six and one and so on. Similarly, it happens at the end of the first line as well and elsewhere in the music to that same opening to each phrase. The thing to notice with this, as with this style of music, is all the slurs and staccato. All right, we keep coming across that. There's F sharp in the key signature. There's some C sharps because it, it goes between G major and D major. Um, and also the, the odd bit of fingering to be careful of, okay? So I'm going to do the first two lines with the right hand only, starting on B, and here's the counting in, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Third finger here, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, lift and release and move. Now this time it's a fourth finger on the F sharp, then three, then slip the thumb in, four to C sharp, five to D and staccato on the way down to the D. Okay, so you've got that slur with a staccato pattern which the left hand will also copy as well. Okay, then you've got quite a, a section of all legato, all joined up. Do a break at the end before you go on to the beginning of the next phrase. Then you've got that same pattern again. Then you've got some smooth playing, which I'm taking over to the first D in that last bar. So if I go from the top G there, <clears throat> F sharp with a four, watch the fingering here, three, one, join up to the first note there and then just do staccato going down. And that's your D major arpeggio as well, okay? The left hand, there are some staccato upbeat notes, these little quavers, all right? It has that same paired slur and staccato feature and at the end you'll copy the the right hand there you'll join on to the last note sorry join on to the first note of that that bar d and staccato down the arpeggio so from the beginning i'm going to do that counting in again one uh, four five six I'm using the third finger on the C. Um, 
it doesn't matter if you use the second finger really I think the third finger just sort of fits more easily in the middle there then looping up to the E the fingering there is as written now for this next chord throw the hand forward over the black keys because you've got the F sharp and a C sharp in that in that uh, bar so take the whole hand throw it forward so your hand is in that place rather than moving around too much so keep the hand over okay and then in this bar I'm going to make a break before I do the staccato G and then off I go again with that same pattern moving up to E slurs with staccato now watch the fingering in this bar because again it's the same notes but not the same fingering so you should use one two four three on the g join to a join up to the d and then make it staccato to come down okay so when you put it hands together you've got to be a watchful of the the phrasing that's the slurs and staccato articulation really that's what it's called and um, because you've got different things going on different hands that's the first one i'm going to make a staccato g but i'm not going to make a staccato b at the beginning four five six and one and then all the staccatos in the right hand but not the left hand now it swaps round the left hand has the staccato but the right hand is all joining up. Both hands join up here to the end of the phrase. And then both hands do a break and we start again. Left hand has a staccato, then the right hand has it. Now the left hand has the staccato. Keep the right hand joined up. And now you join both hands both a staccato to finish.